Hi, this is Jean Winville, and I'm here at the Hickory's Organic Farm in Ridgefield, Connecticut for another check-in on our square foot garden. And as you can see, things have really been growing, and I hope the same is happening in your own gardens. So today I'm going to focus a little bit on harvesting and what can some of the next steps be for your square foot garden. So today we're going to take a look at our radishes, and there's a couple of things that you can notice about these right away. They've had a lot of insect damage, most likely from flea beetle. And right now, if I do this, we're not seeing any rise. But if you were here a week ago, you would have seen a little cloud of them jumping around back and forth. A lot of times people hit the panic button when they see that. But most often than not, if we're just patient and kind of let nature take its course, things work their way out. And as we'll see, so just by pulling back the greens a little bit, we can see that these radishes are very ready to come out of the ground. So if you just grab a little bit, give them a little pull from underneath. So here we have some radishes that are ready to be taken inside, rinsed, and eaten. So with the turnips and the radishes, we harvested by pulling the whole plant right out of the square. With the lettuces, I'm going to take a slightly different approach. I'm going to take a, a knife and I'm going to go in and reach the bottom of the plant and right at the level of the soil, I'm going to make a cut. This way I cleanly remove the whole head. Isn't that a beauty? All right, I'm going to go ahead and harvest the rest of the lettuce from this square. And again, look at the bounty from just that one square foot. And if we look at what we've harvested just from three square feet, it's quite impressive. So now, in my square, I have the remains of the four roots of the plants. I'm going to leave those in place. And what I'm going to do is plant in the middle of them. So I'm going to dig out a hole and I'm going to put in a new tomato plant. By leaving the roots of the lettuces in place, I'm practicing on a small scale what is known as no-till farming. By leaving the roots of the lettuces, they're going to gradually offer food to the tomato plant, which is a great way to enrich the soil in a very simple manner. I hope you're beginning to see the bounty of your work in your own garden and continue enjoying having your hands in the soil and the sun on your shoulder. Have a great day and we'll see you again soon.